Hi friends, in this video we will see about the objects basics in the JavaScript. So we, previous videos we have completed the arrays, arrays declarations and also the some of the array functions what are the things used in the JavaScript. Now we will concentrate on the objects. Let's take one simple object. So we can take it as some let's say person okay variable and we will represent as as we know represent with a curly bracket curly braces so now what i can give here is let's let's have one property by name name with leela okay and now i will have another another property uh, with the name uh, with age okay age as 30 okay we will have simply these two properties so one property is with name and another property is age let's try to print that object so if we try to print that object console.log person if i print the uh, object person so i got the object object age age 30 name and if you want to get only the name or we can get is person dot name now if i try to get the name i got only the name this is the notation of getting the property in an object you can also use uh, with uh, with dot notation and also use as an array notation also now you can use like this so now if you use like this now now also you can get the name leela so that means the person the name property can be accessed using the uh, array notation and also with the dot notation when we'll be using this array notation is for example if you know that this name is the dynamic so if you are getting from any variable for example i i got the key somewhere here i can use directly that key name here directly so i can give directly the key so here is then also i am getting the leela if you cannot use this one as a dynamic property dot key if you use like this it will try to search and it will return undefined why because the key key property key key is not present in this object so that is the reason if you have a dynamic variable uh, which is holding the key name so property name so it is better to use the brackets okay now if we check uh, for example if i try to check the type of type of person okay if i try to check the type of person let's see what would be the output you'll be getting you'll be getting as usual object so if i want to check the type of person dot name the property of this one key so name a name property if i want to check if i if i can check it's getting a string so the name doesn't matter with the whole object so the name will send you they will give you the value by which whatever it is holding okay so this is the object and also you can have any type of data type in the javascript for example here it is uh, name is holding the string value age is holding the 30 uh, number value right and also you can have another 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 properties like details and it can also be the object now i can write hobby something like that and this can have okay sports something like cooking anything okay so this can also hold the Array. and here i can have the location okay you see something like this so you uh, so the property can also hold an object again and in that in that in that in that property again it can hold the array or anything so this is how we can also uh, hold, object will hold the values and uh, and not only this one and also we can we can hold we can create the function also in the javascript for example if i want to create a function so for example get uh, something like get if i use uh, get name uh, something like what we can say uh, welcome welcome or something like that if i have you can create a function anonymous function like this and you can write console.log okay welcome or something like this okay so now if i want to print that one so if i want to use that function directly you can use uh, what we can say person dot welcome with the parenthesis okay so now if i try to run if i try to run this one so you got the function here okay so this is how we can create the object and here if you see the properties 
you'll be, you will be able to see the properties with the name age and details like this right so for example if you have uh, something like first name okay with a hyphen so you can you can have that first name also like that also you can have but if you try to run you can find syntax error hyphen so in the key way in the key in the key in the property if you are having hyphen or anything special character it's better to enclose it with a double quotes or single quotes okay now this one will not uh, have any error so now if i try to print so nothing will happen now the object is correct now when i when i if i want to try access this value so what we can what will what we have done earlier console.log person dot name previously we handled like this so now name is not there so what we can get we can get undefined okay fine now if i want to access the first name we cannot uh, if we if we try to use first hyphen name here and if i try to run you got nan why you are getting a nan it is trying to do variable first minus name so it is trying to subtract the variables first hyphen name so that is the reason it is trying not a number so we should not use dot operation when when the property is having special characters you you, have, you need to use first hyphen name with a like a array notation so if i try to clear this one and if i run again you got leela c here so this is how the properties and objects uh, objects is created in the javascript and the objects of aggregate properties can hold multiple data types from which we can uh, use used in the javascript if you like this video please subscribe to my channel thank you